All right. <laughs> hey, uh, just a, a quick intro. I'll shut up and get back to it. Um, I'm compiling Lyra in 5.6. So that's the video. That's what we're, we're doing right now. What's up, guys and gals? So if you can tell by the UI, we're in 5.6. Got Lyra here. Um, first thing that we're going to do... Maybe it's this, if you can see. Uh-oh, uh my stuff's freezing out on me. Uh, it is, yeah, right here. All right, IMC default, uh, we'll, we'll fix that. First things first, let's go ahead and fix that issue that we had. Uh, so we're just gonna go into the shooter game experience, which is just, it's elimination. And then we're gonna go ahead and open up the shooter game data, or the hero data shooter game. Uh, under there we've got inputs, input hero. I always try to remember which one it is. I've done it a couple times now. 5.5 had this issue too. So um, we're just gonna keep opening them until we find them. It's not this one, it's not this one. It's a, a mapping. Uh, I believe it's here. It's this action set, right? It's this uh, um, Lyra action set. I think it's with the LAS shooter game shared input. Uh, we'll go ahead and open that one up. And then it's going to be right here. The actions, uh, input bindings, and maps. Did they bring back input bindings? Uh, no. No, no. I know in some of the older ones, they had these weird things. But to so see how this one's blank, we're just going to go ahead and throw in the, the default. Game input. No, yeah, this is the right one. Sorry. So we'll just go ahead and save that. And then I will close out of these. So that's how you fix that one. And then uh, watch. We'll just we'll go ahead and, in fact, I'll just bring this right here so you can see. Maybe not. <laughs> I'll bring it in. All right. See, no more error. It loads like normal. Sorry if that was loud. Um, but, anyways, okay, so we don't have that error. Ah, uh, how did we do this? All right, uh, let me let me pull this one up. So the first error that you get, or at least that I got, um, more than likely you'll get the same thing. It's going to be in this game settings panel. Um, I will open that up right here and show you. It's this struct. I guess five point six. It introduces this struct into uh, the engine code. Um, I just commented it out. I haven't seen any issues with it. Um, you could always change it to, I guess, whatever you want. Call it your game compiled token. Um, but I, I mean, I did a search, right? So like I will find in files. And um, so if you hover over it, you will see, maybe not something if you hover over it. Oh, it's right here, so, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so see how this is plugins, game settings. If I go to this one, this is gonna show me, this is my Epic Games 5.6. Um, I did not build this one from source. I did the other day, and then Unreal released the launcher one, which I just, I'd use that one. So I know they'll they'll have their game dev out one, or the game con, whatever that is, but I mean, hey, this, this works. So uh, if you wanna get into it, play early, mess around with it who knows they might change stuff and break it and who knows their engineers will probably make all these fixes in lyra that i'm going to show you anyways but um so that's the first thing is just this game settings panel and as you can see that's in plugins game settings source public widgets game settings.h just comment that one out uh, the next error that you're going to get is going to be in this lyra simulated input widget now this one was kind of fun um I mean, when I mean fun, I mean not really. So uh, this is what I have. So I think this was, um, did I save what it was? I've got what I have here. So this is the argument that I used. And, but anyways, uh, so this is what it was using. Is this what it was using? Um, yeah, the params. So I, I'll throw these two links up in here. I don't know, I mean, you'll know what they are. Um, but what I did was, let me show you. Let me get these out of the way. Well, basically what I did is I just, I kind of pulled these up, right? 
and then uh, I went through here uh, and I, I checked the type. So if it's, I don't know, to be honest, I don't know if it was working perfectly, at least it got it to compile to run. So um, I checked the types. So for example, this bool is, is gamepad override? This one is, is touch event? So to be honest, I don't know if they map up perfectly, but I'm not using Lyra for mobile development. If you are, um, I, I don't think I've had any issues with the touch screen so far or the, the UI widgets. Um, but this is, I had to change this. So I think this was um, the params. These are params dot whatever the, the things are. And then I changed these. So if you just look at this, it's mount depressed. Again, all I did was on these two links, I found uh, what was what, and some of them are the same. Like, what was this one? This key I think is the same, um, but not all of them were. So I'll throw those links on the video description down below. And then that was really the only other one. The last one that I got kind of sucked. So it threw an error in this format string san errors dot um, inl file. Now the error is actually not in that file. So do I have that open? Do I have it open? I don't know. The reason why I have all of these open is because these are where all of the errors were. But anyways, that's just, I think that's um, basically what it says is when you're printing out UI errors. So let me see if I've got one right here. Yeah, so this UE log, um, you're gonna print this result. It is the percent sign and then D. That I guess Lyra, or I'm sorry, Unreal in 5.6, what they're doing is they're tightening down on that, right? So I think um, the D can only be uh, what is it, a character, an int, a long, uh, I forget what those are. Um, so you have to go through, I don't remember where I found the documentation on that one. Um, I don't know if it's standard C++, if there's any C++ developers that watch my stupid videos, let me know. Um, if not, Stack Overflow, which is still amazing. Everyone Stack Overflow, don't let that die. Um, human knowledge is is, is valuable. Sorry, I'll shut up now. But basically what you gotta do is, um, I'm trying to think, so like I started off in this comment, but I ended up, what I did is I just highlighted this. Watch, so you do this and then you right click and find in files, um, I'm trying to think. So you're just gonna go through here and then every single one, what you'll do is you click this one, uh, new team index, probably an integer, so it should be fine. Um, but I, I commented out, right? So I put at Tango on all of them. So I think, yeah, so these I think were originally percent D and uh, if I'm pronouncing that, I don't know what it is. But anyways, <laughs> um, you have to, for an int 32, you have to change it to percent U. So um, I don't think, I uh, let me actually do, check this one out. So, um, these are all of the changes that I made. So I've got this one, which is in the Lyra replication graph. Um, and that one kind of sucked. Where is that? Kind of sucked. Uh, you can see I changed, I think all of these were Ds, to be honest. I changed them all to Ss because um, it was printing out a bool. Bools, I guess, in 5.5 .5 could be Ds. Uh, here it has to be Ss. I changed it just to string and I'm trying to remember what I just copied this code from not that one per se um, but I did copy it from there's like one of these maybe no that's got me on there ah, right here yes yeah, so check this out so I just copied this I was like oh hey that's a bool right and this is how they did it so copy paste because I am a bad programmer and I copy code all the time but hey it works right it got us to compile so uh, these are all the, the files if you want to kind of pause the video look to see what what I'm running what I'm rolling with what I'm, what I'm packing <laughs> but uh, these are they right and then uh, yeah that's just that one so these are all the changes that I made really that's it this is a pretty much a, a blank project um, for Lyra in 5.6. So right here, see, 5.6. So this is the engine. So it works. That's it. Quick video. Probably not by the time I edit it, it's like 
half an hour long. And I'm like, quick video, guys. Anyways, uh, I'm doing some more videos. I'm going to try and get another video up soon. <laughs> I got one that I was working on in 5.6. I spent like six hours writing some code. And it just it did not compile. Or it decompiled, right? But like it, it just did not do what I wanted it to do. And then I was like, screw this. I deleted everything. I went to bed. I woke up like three hours later because I only get like three hours of sleep. And I literally got on the computer and like within six minutes, literally six minutes, I did what I needed to do. And I was like, seriously, it was all done through blueprints because I'm an idiot. Blueprints are amazing, by the way. Unreal. I have to say you guys are great with that. Um, and I was just it's easier to find stuff. Right. Like, what's this one? I don't want to open that one. Um, let's go to weapons. Let's see this. So check this out. This is what I love about blueprints. I, I'm rambling at this point, but you can do the context that they have, right? This context sensitive, you want to get something, you just type in get, and then this shows you all the gets that you can do from it. And not all of them always work all the time, but dude, it's awesome. This, this content, it's amazing. I have to say anyways. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously C is more robust. It's faster, but, um, yeah, blueprints are, are amazing. So anyways, that is it. Like I said, stay tuned because I got some more videos coming. And then, uh, yeah, 5.6 is rolling out. So I'll probably do a source build next. Um, and I do, there's there's some stuff. I've seen other dudes talking about all the cool stuff. I uh, To be honest, I haven't even played with this. I just compiled this um, last night, went to work today, and then came home and played with it. So um, you just saw me getting my butt kicked in... Uh, the basic game but um, I will stop talking stop rambling now um, but that's it I will see you guys next time